food. How's everyone doing today? Great, fantastic. As you all know, I'm healing from narcissistic abuse. And my goodness, it is a process. It's such a process that it's kind of scary at sometimes because you have these awakening moments of who is actually a narcissist in your life. And when you come to this awakening, it's just it's just heartbreaking, you know, it's heartbreaking when you find out that all your life you've been around narcissists, that you have always been attracting narcissists. And what narcissists do is that they use you. They use you, they abuse you, and they take advantage of you. And for me, it was like my whole family, my sister, my brother, my ex-husband, my stepmom, you know, um, my daughter, they all have taken advantage of me in some type of way. And when it's happening to you, you think it's normal, it's okay, because you should be there for your family. You should be caring, you should be giving, you should be loving and stuff like that. And you should. However, those type of people, uh, the narcissists, they love to take advantage of people that are nice and caring and sympathetic to their situation or their problems. And so um, with them, with narcissists, is that they never change. They don't change. They never want to change because they constantly keep thinking that something is wrong with you and not them. So they're always pushing the blame off on you. If they're not pushing it off on you, then they're manipulating you into thinking that you're crazy or you're insane. And so that's the hard, hard part about um, finding out about narcissistic abuse. It's, it's just the people that you love so much and the people that you care for you and you're thinking that they care for you the same way, or at least they should, they're actually just there to take from you, to take from you because you're just too nice or too kind. And I know for me, I, I still can't swallow a lot of it, you know, especially when it's um, my child, for instance, when it's your child, you know, that is have these narcissistic traits or these uh, narcissistic personalities it's really hard to swallow that pill because for me, um, growing up was very dysfunctional. I didn't have my mom, I didn't have my, uh, my, um, my dad was there, but he wasn't there. You know, he, he would provide and keep a roof over your head, but he wasn't a dad that actually taught you lessons and walked you through certain things and, and loved you the, the right way. Um, and so there, you grow up empty in that area. And then my mom, you know, my mom was, um, she went through childhood abuse and things of that nature. So she was an, an alcoholic, you know, and so she couldn't be there. And so, um, growing up as an empath, when you don't have the love and the nurturing and the caring that you need to really survive in this world, the first thing you're looking for is people to care for you and to love you and to be there for you. And of course, you're going to look to people that are um, close to you, your siblings, you know, um, things, you know, people who you think should be there for you, but in reality, they're really there for themselves. And so that's the, the pain of waking up to uh, narcissistic abuse. And when it comes from a child, um, you figure like you didn't have the love and the nurturing and the caring from your parents. So when you have children, you feel that that's what you need to do, you know. And, and when you start doing that and you continue to do that, you think you're doing the right thing. But... Um, sometime you're creating this monster to one day grow up and just take advantage of you and um, and you kind of let it go on because you're you're trying to make up for your childhood not being you know fulfilling not fulfilling you um, not knowing that if you stop and just start taking care of yourself then you will know how to raise your children in the right way and I didn't know that sometime when you lack in your childhood then you overdo for your children that you're really out of balance and you're you know creating a scene that's going they're going to turn around and bite you and that's what happens with um, 
empaths, we, we always feel that we can, if I do more, if I give more, if I support more, then it'll make it all right. But in reality, it's not making it all right. It's actually making it worse sometimes. You know, then you you can have some um, children or some siblings that are looked at it like, oh, this is okay. Verily, rarely, when you're dealing with a narcissist, will you get that. So, um, in the end of waking up to narcissistic abuse, and in the end of seeing who is the narcissist and... Um, and how narcissists are and how they act and, and how they manipulate and control and, and they have to be number one all the time. After seeing this, um, it, it leads you back to saying that you have to take care of yourself. And it leads you back to saying that it's all right for you to take care of yourself. You know, but empaths, it's so hard for us to get to that point of actually taking care of ourselves. You know, that it's all right if I say no. It's all right if I don't give this part or give money or don't do this. It's all right if I'm, you know, um, thinking about myself. It's all right to say, to not support this person. It's all right to not just be this um, person that they can beat up and take advantage of and still make you feel like crap because you did say no. You know, it's all right to to say no. And um, coming from the background that I came from, and I'm sure a lot of you came from, no support, no family, you know, really there, the authority figures weren't really teaching you anything. They didn't teach you about life, you know. So life was just whatever came, you dealt with it as best as you could because you didn't have the tools to, um, to deal with it in a healthy way. So you survived on your own. Coming from these type of backgrounds, you always feel empty and you always feel like you have to please somebody, you have to serve somebody. And then you're always thinking that, well, if I, um, you know, treat this person differently than from what they're used to, then maybe, you know, it can change that person. Maybe things can be different. But unfortunately, when you're dealing with an empath, with a narcissist, the narcissists are just designed to take. They're designed to take, they're designed to confuse, they're designed to make you feel stupid, they're designed to um, just make you feel like you, everything you say, everything you do, it doesn't matter, it doesn't belong, and it doesn't make sense. That's their makeup, and it has nothing, nothing to do with you. And so at the end of the day, when you have family members and siblings that are really against you, you just have to like start shaking off them and start shaking on yourself. You have to start eating healthier foods. You have to start taking care of yourself and you have to know that it's okay if I take care of myself because my opinion and my thinking matters as well. And it's not to be um, excused or dismissed as if I'm stupid or I'm dumb. That's that's just not how it's supposed to be. It took me a long time and I'm still learning that it's all right to say no to your your siblings, your kids. It's all right to say no. I'm still learning that, you know, because I'm still getting over the shock of knowing or seeing so many darn narcissists in my life. Not to mention that you can actually carry a narcissist and and give birth to a narcissist, you know, that that's kind of scary when you think about it. But it's what's more scary is that there's so many people on this planet and we all look alike, but we're nothing alike. Some of us, some of us are just designed to love and care and, and be there and that's okay. But there, on the other hand, there's some that are designed to take and take and take and to make you feel crazy and stupid in the process of them taking from you. An empathic person has beautiful gifts. We're loving, we're caring, and we care about people. And there's nothing wrong with those gifts. It's just that we have to learn to portion those dishes out, those gifts out in a healthy way. You know, we have to learn boundaries. We have to know that 
we can't step over this boundary. This person cannot go over this boundary. No, I'm not going to give my last dollar. No, I'm not going to be there and supporting you and you treat me like crap. No, you know, we have to learn our no's. And I'm learning. I'm learning. And it's hard because as an empath, we were not created to... Um, we were not created to be mean in that sense you know we we have to really learn that it's okay to say no it's okay to have balance those parts in our in our life is kind of hard to take on that that makeup that way of being you know because we're we're wanting to be loved we wanting to be accepted we want you know to be uh connected to people and um so based on us wanting to be connected we'll practically practically do whatever it takes to be connected but not knowing that in the end we're gonna come out with the losing end the losing end is gonna be on us so knowing the narcissist in our life is is good it's painful but it's so necessary for us to know that you know if they have the same traits as this narcissist if this person i'm dealing with has the same trait as this um other narcissist then that that must be a narcissist you know no matter who they are if it's our sister our brother our husband our ex-wife our children who our co-worker our boss whoever it is if they are displaying the same traits as uh, the narcissist that you learned about so far then they are narcissists and so we have to be able to draw that line and deal with that person accordingly you know according to the gifts that we have learned or the tools that we've learned not the gifts but the tools that we learned in order to protect ourselves. because at the end of the day that's really what it's all about so this video is about finding out the narcissists in your life, seeing those traits, and actually not ignoring them, but actually seeing them for what they are and guarding yourself against any hurt and abuse that you can receive from the narcissist. So I thank you for watching my videos. I hope this has helped somebody. I'm learning so much on this journey and I really do appreciate it. It's a painful journey. It really is, but it's also freeing. And um, I know you're learning a lot as well. And so continue to learn, continue to let the pain make you into a better person. Let the pain take you into more happier pastures where you can actually be enjoying life instead of suffering through life. Thank you all for listening to my video. This is T Mentor Food. God bless you all and be